the God that I serve, the God that I know, the God that I love, the God that I have love and faith in, and the God that I'm obedient and diligent to changes my life every 24 hours. Hey, B.O. Crew. What's good? What's good in the hood? What's good in the hood? Chanelio, Chanelio. Uh, Chanelio, Chanelio. <laughs> What's good, y'all? I'm currently at the nail shop. Well, I'm in the car. I actually came to the car to make this vlog. I hate nail shops simply because it's always a process, but it's because I'm impatient. That was taking too long. I just need my nails. I got my feet done already, y'all. They cute too. I just wanted to come update you guys on um, what's been going on with bad ladies and what you guys can expect and just some little updates you know what i'm seeing little announcements here and there so it's currently september the 11th um all my prayers go up to the people that lost their lives a few years ago and their families that still have to do with their loss and to this day i pray for their strength and um the opportunities come in their life to still make them feel good about life and to keep going and pushing through but it's september the 11th today and we don't have any shows this weekend. It's currently Saturday. We don't have any shows this weekend, but tonight we do have something planned. Whatever it is, I'ma make sure that I tune you guys in and that I don't forget. I'ma try to upload a video each week. If you haven't seen already, I just dropped a video last week. I sung the national anthems, <laughs> the national anthems, the national anthem for the High Point Rockers. You guys go check that video out. The link will be in the description below. So easy to get to. You don't even have to go searching. But y'all check that out. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And y'all let us know what kind of videos y'all want to see from us. Because we just be putting out what we feel like y'all want to uh, see. Oh, by the way, Sweet and Spicy is on the way, guys. I know we've been telling y'all that it might be here June, July. It's really, really hard to do something that you've never done before period we've never dropped the album before guys so just know that everything takes time it's planning and everything takes money nothing's free the only thing that's free is prayer and i thank god for today and everything he's done in my life thus far but sweet and spicy is on the way guys y'all gonna love this album we really put our heart our soul and we're still perfecting it as we speak let me let me just let me let's go back let's go back i'm gonna take y'all through bag ladies a little bit because a lot of y'all don't know how bag ladies even be became bag ladies if you watched the interview before you kind of got an overview of who we were and um how we met and little simple questions like that but we never really got into depth on how bl actually initiated so guys bag ladies aka bl just in case you guys didn't know what bl stood for it's okay if you didn't no love lost but bag ladies um we both came together uh years ago we became friends years ago like we said in the interview we were friends between friends um we weren't really tight at first we just were tight with the people that we knew and we always would be around each other so we were very cordial very cool or whatever but we wasn't like how we were today years go by Bodie, she came to durham where i went to school at and she moved down there for about a few months. Maybe it was a year. I'm not really sure how long she was there. We used to do karaoke together. Um, Cause none of our friends wanted to do the stuff that we wanted to do, which was cool because as long as we had each other, we were good. We used to go out and um, just meet people, like go to little parties. Oh, and something I've never told y'all before. And during we were at this house party. <laughs> it's really crazy. We were at this house party. It was homecoming. I want to say homecoming 2019. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we was at this house party. It was a cool little vibe. Me and Goddy looked it real, real good. And it was about four of us. Um, it was us and two of our other friends. We leaving out the party or whatever. Y'all would never guess who walked up to our car. We didn't see this person in the party at all, y'all. Like at all. So they walk up to the car. This mug gonna ask me. What y'all about to do? Y'all want to know who this was? T.I. Sun. We are in Durham, North Carolina at a typical house party. I'm looking at him like, ain't you T.I. Sun? But I ain't do all of that. You know, you got to play it cool, whatever, whatever, whatever. So he was like, what y'all about to do? I was like, ain't you, ain't you T.I. Sun? He was like, yeah, my name Damani. 
I was like, oh, well, we weren't really about to do shit. We was about to go home and smoke or whatever. He was like, y'all can come y'all can come through the Airbnb and get lit with us or whatever. We was like, um, all right, we'll let you know what's up. Mind you, so I'm sitting here playing it cool. I'm the driver. So I'm literally initiating the whole conversation. I'm assuming my friends are over here just shot, just like I am, like, this Damani. And he just invited us to his Airbnb to get lit. Like, first off, it was the walking up to walking up to the car for me. Like, you noticed us before we noticed you. So he leave, we disperse ways or whatever. We on the way to the crib. I'm like, yo, what in the world? Was that just did that just happen? Like, we that cool or whatever? We cute or <laughs> like we was just talking about it or whatever. And we was like, well, I mean, if we don't end up doing nothing, we can go chill with them. So time go by. We end up going to the house for a little bit. And I don't know if it was either me or Bree. Or I don't know who it was. But I was like, y'all, we didn't get their number. <laughs> we didn't get their number. So we got to hit them up. I'm like, so I'm thinking like, hit the money up on Instagram. Yeah, why not? I messaged him. I was like, what's the address? We just met y'all. He didn't respond at all, y'all. So I'm like, what the fuck? But this other dude responded. I'm assuming he was like part of his management team or something like that. And he sent the address. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. We got the address, let's go. So we got out and we had a ball, y'all. We had some drinks. It was other people in there from NCCU. Oh, the first thing that got me was when we went in there, they asked for our phone. It threw me off at first. Cause I'm like, what the fuck do you want my phone for? Like, I'm confused. But I seen that they had other people's phones, so I was like, okay, maybe they just trying to be secure. Don't want nobody sending out his location, because it could get a little hectic. Because I didn't even know Damani was in the house party. I'm sure they don't want nobody in the city to know where they staying at and all of that good stuff. So I was like, okay, cool, y'all can have a phone. I ain't really tripping anyway. I thought I was going to get a picture, but I wasn't even really pressed for the picture. It just would have been nice, you know? Time go by... Damani and Goldie, they had played this drinking game or whatever. Damani was definitely trying to get my sis fucked up, by the way. But you know, your girl was right there like, uh-uh. She could take a few shots, but Chanel right here, so what's up? Cool. I had some. Me and this other girl had some. I don't know how like it happened, but definitely something was said like, if you're an artist or any of y'all sing, blah, 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 let me hear some. Bria ass, like, my friend sing. <laughs> so I had to sing. She done told everybody I sing, I had to sing. Cool. So I sang a little bit, I did I right. Now, this, two, this 2019, Trinice was still a little shy, a little something, something. Chanel was not in full form at that time. Like, I forgot what I sang. I think it was the Rihanna song. So that was lit. I wish I could remember the people other than like Damani. But y'all, that's the story of when we met T.I. son. He was fucking with the bad ladies. And we wasn't even bad ladies at the time. So that just goes to show that, baby, don't play with us. We is them girls. We is them girls. We is them girls. But anything's bound to happen, y'all, in y'all life. All you gotta do is, like I'm learning, you gotta be faithful to your most high. Whoever your most high is, you have to be faithful to them. You have to be obedient and diligent. Those are the top three things, the top three things that needs to be understood and clear. Once you got those three things within a relationship, with your higher power the only other things that you have to do for you is to stay focused <laughs> and stay on track stick to the plan all of those things will get you to where you need to be and where you want to go so let me go over it one more time so that those that want to change their life in a matter of months or weeks depending on your relationship and how diligent and how obedient you are your life can change this week but you gotta be faithful to your high, higher power. You gotta be faithful, you gotta be obedient, and you gotta be diligent. Faithful, obedient, diligent. That relationship with you and your higher power has to be on point. Everything needs to be clear. It's a relationship. It's a spiritual relationship. Just like any friendship 
or relationships you got with your mom, your dad. You're obedient to your mom. You're diligent. You know what I'm saying? The things she tell you to do, you do. You're responsible. And you have faith in your mom. That's your mom or your dad. You know that whatever needs to get done, if you can't do it, they'll probably do it for you if they can. That's how you have to feel for God. You have to ask him for something and you have to know that he will do it for you because you've asked for it. But you've also been faithful, obedient, and diligent in the work that he wants you to do for him. Sometimes that ain't easy. And I'm saying this to you because I'm going through the same exact thing and I'm learning and I've learned that is the answer. It's not money, it's not fame, it's not power, it's not material things. Those are just things on earth. But what's gonna get you right on earth in your mind and at the life is the things I just told you. You gotta be faithful, obedient, and diligent. And I'm scratching that because that's really the answer. Any problems you got in your life, y'all, any worries, anything that you're just unsure about, all you gotta do is build a relationship with your most high and accomplish those three things. And it's like, the quicker you do that is the quicker when your blessings gonna come. It's not like, well, she been, she been doing so damn much, 20 years. I'm gonna make her suffer 20 years. No, God don't work like that. He really works miracles. His name should have been Miracle, but God works too. The God that I serve, the God that I know, the God that I love, the God that I have love and faith in, and the God that I'm obedient and diligent to changes my life every 24 hours, if need be. Broke today, and it ain't about money all the time. I could be broke today in spirit and I can be high in spirit tomorrow. Like, he worked like that. He gonna make you wait. He gonna make you do whatever it is you need to do to better you. It's, it's never to prove a point to him. It's to prove it to you. Like, this is where you went wrong. This is what you have to do right. And this is what will happen if you do these things. Do what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm not trying to preach. I'm really not trying to preach. I just know that it's some girls, it's some boys, it's some men some ladies that go through the stuff i go through on a daily basis and sometimes they just need a little guidance or a little motivation to keep them pushing or to help them understand what's going on with them like why things ain't changing why things keep happening this way like people be confused i was confused shit i still am confused on certain things but this this stuff that i'm telling y'all right now i know like it ain't no questions asked you do what God wants you to do or you're most high. I'm sorry. Everybody may not have the same spiritual beliefs as I do, but hey, if you serving your most high the same way, we on the same boat. It don't matter if, if you serve Buddha, if you serve God, if you serve whatever you serve, honey. As long as you serving, you being faithful, you being obedient, you being diligent, you should be fine. Go ahead and change our life. Y'all might do it quicker than I do. So let's get it, like, let's get this money. Let's get this internal healing going on. This process started. Start building this covenant with, with your most high. Like, life about to get crazy. But y'all be good. Y'all be good. Y'all be faithful. Y'all be obedient. Y'all be diligent. Y'all life will change. He did it for me and Bree. And, I, and we ain't rich yet. And I'm not seeing it like we done hit the jackpot. You know what I'm saying? We still broke as hell. <laughs> We still broke as hell, living paycheck to paycheck. My job, I don't have a job right now, so I'm really living all faith. <laughs> but that's besides the point. God takes care of me. 99% of the times, I don't worry about it. I do worry sometimes now, and he will give me a reality check. Like, you ain't got to worry, but you do got to do some things to get back in order. I just thank God for his love. In the miracles, he work in everybody's life, not just mine. BL crew, I want y'all to be blessed and highly favored. God is good. For those that think I just turned this into a, a sermon, I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry because, hey, you needed to hear it. Somebody needed this motivation to change their life, I'm telling you. It'd be stuff like this that I know now that if I knew two, five years ago, bad ladies would have been initiated, okay? But God's timing is perfect timing, and he has a plan. So y'all just get on the wave, start riding the boat, start figuring out your true calling, your passion, 
and be good and watch how y'all life change i love y'all bl crew and i'm about to go back into this nail shop and wait and wait and wait so i'll see y'all soon who we are who we are